a little bit of that And when you add it up, you get a lot of laughs Ooh, I got a originality Living with a split personality Ooh, yeah Ooh, yeah Two times of fun Well, here we are, back in the land of Wuzz for another wonderful adventure. Hoppo is trying out for the Wuzzletown Ballet Company. Fasten your seatbelts. Hmm, it seems our ballet star has a case of butter fleas in her stomach. This is my big break, auditioning for C.C. Goose Bear. He's the greatest ballet director in the world. Relax, Hoppo. Ellaru and I will be right next to you for support. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm kind of clumsy. Okay, remember, this ballet is called the Dying Swan Pig. It's a classic. Just do everything I do. Everything you do. Got it? Got it. Got it. Let's get on with this audition I don't have all day. Hey, Bumble Lion, Rhinoki isn't here. Gee, I wonder what happened to him. Maybe he stopped off at the dock on the way here, and maybe pirates grabbed him and he was Shanghai to sea, and maybe... Maybe he's just late. Or maybe he's just late. All right, all ready. Come on, Hoppo. I'm a busy, busy goose bear. Uno momentito, senior goose bear. The maestro is warming up the orchestra. Hit the music, Ellaru. <laughs> Oh, bravo, brilliant, for such grace, especially for such a big girl. Ballet was so dangerous. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest practical joke of all time. Good old itching powder. Let's see if Hoppo's dance is up to scratch. <laughs> all I have to do is take perfect aim. Perfect aim? This is Hoppo. How could I miss? <laughs> to do that? We agreed. Every wuzzle, itch in time. Seven-ton itch? No, uh, wait, Mr. Goose Bear. <gasps> bravo, bravo. Did Mr. Goose Bear agree to give me another audition? Yes, he said on one condition. What was the condition? 
Something about the Wuzzle Desert freezing over? I itch all over. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> Rhinoki. Rhinoki. <laughs> I, I knew you had an itch for fame, Hoppo, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hoppo, as far as your talent is concerned, you haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> Rhinoki, how could you? Yeah, that was a pretty cruel joke, even for you. What if she'd heard it herself? Look, oh, come on, where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Sense of humor? Where's your sense of decency? She's right, Rhinoki. That was a pretty mean trick. It was just a joke, just trying to have a little fun. <laughs> oh, that was rock, even for him. He's so rash. Oh, sorry, Hoppo. I didn't mean to. We've got to do something about Rhinoki's practical joke. A brilliant scheme. What? That's what we need. A brilliant scheme. You know, if someone played a practical joke on Rhinoki, he wouldn't like it. I can't think of a joke, but I'd love to give him a punchline. So we need a practical joke then. Yeah, a practical joke. But it's got to be a good one to fool Rhinoki. Yeah, it's got to be a good one. Musu, will you quit mocking me? Oh, sorry, Bumba Lion. Wait, that's it! Musa, what a great idea! Yeah, isn't it, though? What idea? Mocking! We'll get Rhinoki a mockingbird dog. They can imitate anything. Oh, neato idea! Good going, Musa! Oh, great! Neat idea! Good going, Musa! Thank you. Simply put, a mockingbird dog is an imitative creature that's half mockingbird, half dog, and can drive you half out of your mind, which is about to happen to Rhinoki. May I help you? Yeah, we'd like the loudest, nastiest mockingbird dog you have. Come again. You want a mockingbird dog? Really? You're serious? Take two, please. I'll pay you. Honest. Oh, thank you very much. But all we need is one. Somebody wants one. <laughs> Are you sure you want the loudest, nastiest one I've got? Yes. Yeah. And I thought I was losing my marbles. <laughs> Why Mohawk? He doesn't seem loud and nasty to me. That's because he's on his break. He'll scream for 23 hours and 50 minutes straight. Then he takes a 10-minute break and starts right up again. How long till he starts again? I'd say in about five minutes. And we'd better hurry. Thanks a lot, Mr. Beaverbuck. How about taking one more? Just one, please. Free, please. Hell. One down and 63,285 mockingbird dogs to go! Are you sure this will work, Bumble Lion? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Rhinoki's never gonna forget today. They say you can't teach an old bird dog new tricks. But look out, Rhinoki. This is a young bird dog. Well, here we are, waiting for Rhinoki to discover that basket on his porch. And when he does, I bet he'll be a basket king. Hmm, what will I use for my next trick? Uh, joy buffers? Mm -hmm. Only ice cubes. Mm -hmm. Imitation meat. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. Hurry, he's coming. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's strange. What's this? A picnic on my doorstep? And I wasn't invited? <laughs> hey, 
There's a puppy bear dog in here. A little strange meal for a picnic. <laughs> Dear Rhinoki, I've gone to store. Please take good care of my baby mockingbird dog. Sign Mama Mockingbird Dog. P.S. We'll be back in 30 or 40 years. Oh, terrific. He's falling for it. Let's see how he likes being on the receiving end for a change. Welcome to the peace and quiet of my house. You know, everyone says that mockingbird dogs are so noisy and troublesome. Well, not my little buddy. He hasn't made a peepee up yet. <coughs> oh, maybe I was wrong. Wow, maybe I was wrong. I didn't know mockingbird dogs could talk. I didn't know mockingbird dogs could talk. <coughs> He's not only loud, he's a copycat fish. He's a copycat fish. Whoa! Hey, is that any way to be a guest in someone's house? Hey, is that any way to be a guest in someone's house? Uh -oh. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Smack! Smack! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, do you see why Rocky's pants? <laughs> this is one lesson he'll never forget! <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little nasty to me. Hey, he deserves it. And it isn't over yet. Come on. We'll, we'll lose him in there for sure. At last, some peace and quiet. At last, some peace and quiet. Right now, I only have one thing to say to you, my love. <laughs> Not again! doing here? <laughs> Enjoying ourselves. <laughs> oh, I get it. You left them at my house. Well, this isn't funny. That darn mockingbird dog is driving me nuts old. What's the matter, Rhinoki? Is he getting under your skin? Yeah. Where's your sense of humor? That's what I said earlier. That's what I said. That's what I said. Oh. We hope you learned your lesson. It doesn't feel good to have tricks played on you. I still think it was a mean thing to do to poor Rhinoki. Relax. He got the message. They're right. I don't deserve friends like them. They're right. I don't deserve friends like that. <laughs> I've been a rotten friend. You've been a rotten friend. Ha! I don't deserve friends at all. I should be ashamed of myself. Dear Every Wuzzle, I am going to live in Echo Wuzz Canyon where I won't bother anyone. Goodbye. Signed, Rhinoki. P.S. We'll be back in 30 or 40 years. Hmm, <laughs> that laugh worries me. Stop. 
time to go home. Now I can go home to the quiet and solitude of my wife and my 14 children. Anything is better than being around mockingbird dogs. <laughs> of problems starts with the first pound. Now the next day was a perfectly normal average day around Wood until about 9 a.m. I hope the mail's here. I don't remember ordering that. <laughs> Red hot! <laughs> Water! Water! like no one's safe from the mad mockingbird dogs. I thought mockingbird dogs were so cute. Cute? Oh, we've got to do something. A brilliant scheme. What? We need another brilliant scheme. Oh, I hope this one works out better than the one to teach Rhinoki a lesson. Rhinoki. I'd rather have him around than these crazy mockingbird dogs. Oh, that's it. Rhinoki. That's who we need? Ellaru's right. He's the only one who can out-joke the mockingbird dogs. But don't you want to hear my brilliant scheme? No! Good idea. Only one small problem. Going to live in Echowas Canyon, where I will never bother anyone else again. Goodbye. Signed, Rhinoki. He is. Be back in 30 or 40 years. Oh. I knew we went too far. We gotta find him and bring him back. And we better hurry. Now, Echo Was is one of the nicer places on Was. Especially if you're a cowl. Moo. Isn't speaking to me. Oh no! No! Rhinoki, you have to do something. I left town. Wasn't that enough? We need your help, Rhinoki. This is another trick to get even with me. Oh. We need you to help get rid of the mockingbird dogs. Here's your chance to redeem yourself. You mean you're not all still mad at me? E even you, Hoppo? Tell him, Hoppo. Oh, all right. 
All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We'll need some wood, and nails, and fencing. Uh, Bumble Lion, you get your truck and... Well, step right up, folks. Uh, get your party favors right here. Uh, jokes of all sizes. Guaranteed to annoy your friends beyond belief. We've got your squirting banana bagels. We've got your exploding cheese pickles. Uh, get them right here. <sighs> That's all of them. Congrats, Rhinoki, and welcome back. <laughs> what are we gonna do about them? <laughs> they don't like being cooped up in cages. Who would? That's probably what made them so crazy in the first place. Well, I've got an idea where they could be happy and not bother us. They don't like hearing themselves. Wow. Bringing them to Echo Walsh Canyon was a great idea, Butterbear. Yeah, the only folks they can annoy out here are each other. Well, Rhinoki, are you ready to come back to town? Ready, and I'll never play another practical joke again. Let's go. Just a sec. I want to pick this beautiful flower. <laughs> Rhinoki! I'm sorry, old habits are hard to break. <laughs> it was a joke, can't you take a joke? I mean, it was just a joke for goodness sake. <laughs> oh well, some things never change. Oh well, some things never change. <laughs>